Hey, uh, everyone. I have a problem here in my 2003 Dodge Ram with the uh, with one of the the signals not working. It's the left on my trailer plug. So looking at installing a modulite. So uh, one of the first things I have to do before I can go anywhere is to determine whether I have uh, a two-way or a three-way setup uh, for the uh, brake and the turn signals. According to the instructions, it uh, looks like I have a three-wire system where the vehicle's turn, brake, and taillights are all on separate wires. All right, so here I got my thing unplugged. I hate doing this because it just leads water corrosion in here. But it looks like the uh, green with the red stripe is my uh, turn signal. The uh, clearance lights are on the, uh, the pink wire, as you can see. And the uh, brake is the white with the green stripe. So I do have three separate wires, one for brake, one for turn, one for my uh, running lights. So I'm pretty confident that I have the three wire system. Vehicles turn, brake, and taillight functions are on separate wires. I think I've just proved that. And I took my grinder, cleared off a little spot so I can get a good ground. Just a tiny little punch. It's pretty thin metal, so I just punched it right through. And that'll where the uh, self-tapping screw they included can uh, go along with it. Careful you don't drop it down there. I did once. Fished it out okay, though, with a little magnet, but just be careful. Hey, doing the uh, power lead from the battery. So I uh, got the fuse installed. It was nice coming in a little kit with a couple different size end pieces to go on to the positive terminal. So on this ram, this uh, worked out really nice, just going down by the battery down to the side and I followed the uh, the wire loom that was going there, zap strapped it along there and it goes uh, right down to along the frame where the uh, brake line and some other wirings run. I don't know how uh, visible, easy to see it is, but uh, I just married it to the other wire coming down, uh, zap strapped it up here to the loom and along with the rest of the wiring that runs into the back, follows along there, goes up along the uh, gas tank, up to the back, and then just up and over the spare tire. And uh, wasn't too bad, it took me about a half an hour or so. So we come up over the back tire, under the harness here. And uh, while I was doing that, my uh, end piece fell down from up there. So I just uh, married the uh, zap strapped it right to that loom and I'll, uh, I'll feed it back up. So it uh, should be all nice and secure on that uh, power lead from the battery. And there we have the uh, power lead all to the right uh, place where I can hook it up to the modulite. Now I just wanted to point out that this uh, 12 gauge that they included is good looking wire and uh, I have the uh, quad cab with a full eight foot box and it just made it all the way to the back with a couple feet to spare. Okay, next step, I'm going to uh, have to feed the, uh, the pigtail end uh, back down uh, with the wiring harness and feed it down uh, below the truck. Now I'm going to feed the, uh, the signal for the uh, right or passenger side down through the same uh, same hole uh, underneath. As it turns out, the uh, green for the passenger is a little bit short once I feed it over here. But fortunately, I have a little bit of green from another project, so I'll just splice in a piece. And fished out to uh, here, where I need to uh, tie it into the signal. Now testing this uh, passenger side or the right signal. It's coming off the uh, the brown and red. Didn't have a lot of room to work with, but uh, I had to peel the loom back just a little bit to give me a little more room, just in case anything ever messes up, that I could still snip these off, uh, put a connector on there and tie it back in to the original. The uh, connection's all okay. I'm gonna leave a little extra wiring on there just in case you never know. It isn't gonna hurt anything. The uh, double-sided tape holds really nicely. 
on there so we can uh, looks like we can button this up and give it a test all right all buttoned up here they uh, supplied one fuse with it I would strongly recommend spending the little bit extra and getting their wiring kit uh, it's pretty slick it's all the right size uh, just if anybody's gonna do it themselves they uh, they installed a, a 15 amp fuse on that 12 gauge power wire okay now testing it out looks like I have my uh, my tail lights uh, that's on the brown and my right turn is on the green and my uh, left turn is on the yellow so there we go I got the modulite uh, HD plus installed it all looks good now if I was just gonna leave it like this you'd have your your four pigtails but uh, that's not what I'm gonna do I'm going to now splice into this and rewire it into the back of my uh, seven pin which is the problem on one of the signals just will not work and I was told it was uh, the modules and stuff in the front and I'm not going there all right here again so I've got the uh, left signal on and over here I have my yellow pink and that's going there so I've confirmed which is my left signal if you can see it but I got my right signal on and confirming here that the uh, white pink is the right signal now we have the Clarence running lights on and here I got a solid off the black and orange so I'm gonna do the same thing now that with this modulite 4 pin I'm just going to uh, double check the uh, connections here and the uh, first one, uh, brown one, if you can see that, that's the brown one. All right, so that looks true. So the brown one will go to uh, my running lights. So on the modulite, the yellow, that's pretty straightforward. That's going to go onto the yellow and pink, and that's the left signals. Okay, and again, the uh, the right signal is going to go to the. You can't see it really well, but this uh, on the modulite here, my right signal will be going to the green. It's got some black brown there on it too, but it does have a green stripe. So I got the green, yellow, and the white and brown. All right, all done. Got it uh, spliced in there with the uh, three of the signals, the ground have just terminated and uh, just threw a termination cap on the uh, the old ones. Uh, and that's about it. These, uh, unfortunately, the uh, shrink tube I had isn't exactly the right size, so I'll have to throw a little bit of uh, electrical tape around the end of the terminals there, but uh, should be all good. Okay, proof is in the pudding, right? All right, so I've got my left turn I got clearance lights, running lights, they're working. My left signal was the one that didn't work before. Okay, so we got right signal and uh, still clearance lights. Rain in here today, so it's kind of ugly. And I have my other signal light working last but not least got brakes so all in all uh, rather than can trying to find a used control module for my 03 ram uh, about a hundred dollar Canadian for the uh, modulite pack and the uh, coming with the uh, wiring kit so all in all like I said, heck of a lot easier than trying to chase down used uh, control modules for this thing.